Today, I'm going to take a second look at some city tiles. Hey folks, Corey here. Welcome back. Today's going to be a part two video of a previous review I did on the Secret Weapon Miniatures Tablescapes Terrain Tiles. The set that I have here specifically is the Urban Streets Ruined Tiles. So these tiles come one foot square and you can lay them out in any kind of shape you want but generally they come designed for a battlefield. So you can make a full 6x4 using 24 tiles like I have or you can make a smaller set with uh, four tiles, make a small 2x2 two two board. I've used six before to make a kill team board. So those are kinds of different options you have with these tiles. So unfortunately it appears Secret Weapon has a problem with their manufacturer so that these are in limited supply right now. For all the details, head over to their website and check it out. I'll put a link down in the description below. So let's head down to the table and take a look at these tiles up close. So here are the two basic types of tiles. Of course you have road tiles. You have to have roads in a city. And then a city field type tile where a building or ruins would go for your terrain. Both of these tiles are highly detailed. You can see the cracks in the asphalt and the concrete. You can see some metallic details here. At least I've chosen to paint them metallic because I figured they would be. A sewer type grating or uh, maybe an electrical hatch. Over here on the field tile there's a big crater a big scar and you can see that I've picked out different colors for some of the rocks so these tiles come in plain plastic need to be painted up but they're very sturdy injection molding well reinforced they have a circular reinforcement they have cross bracing and some extra reinforcement around the corners what you can see here though in the corners too is a little slot for these connectors makes a very very sturdy connection makes the table sit very tight together and I'll show you how those work now there are two types of connectors there are these edge connectors which are designed to fit against the edge of the table nice and flush and then there are uh, cross connectors designed to put four tiles together so this is pretty simple it's easy to get the feel of you slide underneath, clip that in place. And I recommend you put all of your connectors in place. So this is going to be an example of a corner tile, be the corner of the board. So we'll add three connectors to it, and then this corner would be the absolute corner of the table. And those are on. All you have to do now is grab your next tile, slide it over, press down, and they're connected. So you see I can move this around without really any problem. They're not going to go anywhere. So there's really only two drawbacks to these tiles. The first being the sound. They're a little loud when you roll dice on them. Not that big of a deal for me, but some folks may be bothered by it. So I recommend if you have a felt dice box or you want to use a different surface, you can do that. The second thing is, of course, the size. There are 24 of these to make a 6x4 table, so you are going to need a little bit of a boxy storage area to be able to stack these up. They're about a half inch thick, so if you stack them, they're going to take some room up. So now I'm going to show you how I put these all together to make a full table.
there's a look at Secret Weapons Tablescapes Terrain Tiles. I think they're a pretty good product, and I think I'm going to enjoy them for a long time to come. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.